get started with this, you really need to know a little bit about pattern making. So we're going to be using this easy, um, this very easy Vogue pattern. And it's the V8930, the number, and it has three styles. I don't know if you can see it, it has this one, a style A, B, and C. And today we're going to be making the, the C. Um, it's really, really easy and I'm going to explain step by step how you can achieve the same uh, coat that I just showed you guys. So, so this is the important paper you need. You need to really look at it and see how many pieces you need for each style. So we're going to go to C since C is the style we want to make. And this is C. So you need pieces one you need sorry number two four five and six and those are the pieces you need to cut to create this coat so we're going to go to our pattern pieces and pick out two four five and six and i'm going to pick pattern number two which you need to cut twice you need two of this and then pattern number four you need to cut it on fold since this is the back panel of the coat and then you also have the sleeves which you need to also cut on fold and you need to cut it twice because obviously we have two sleeves and then finally the pocket piece which you need to cut uh, two because you have two hands anyway so I'm just going to go ahead and make an example and show you an example of how you can cut a piece so you understand what I mean and then we're going to cut our pattern pieces and start on with sewing. I just want to show you one example how to cut one of these pieces and remember you only need to cut four pieces so this is the back panel of the coat and it says here cut and fold so my fabric is placed on the fold it's folded here so it has to be here and also you don't need to bother about seam allowance in this coat uh, on this pattern because seam allowance already is already added so right now I'm just going to mark Transfer the marks that are all uh, on that. I'm oh, sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I just woke up Sorry Transfer the marks that are on the pardon piece into your fabric So there's a dart here which you're going to need later and I'm just going to transfer that on my fabric and What other darts? There's a dart here also. I'm gonna do transfer that and Yes, that was actually it also for this pattern piece. Sorry, there's also one dart here. So you just transfer those darts. And now you just want to go ahead. I already made a coat with this pattern and I didn't really I wasn't really satisfied with the length. So for this one I'm going to make it a little bit longer. So that's why I'm I'm extending the length. So right now you just want to go ahead and cut it. Already went ahead and cut it. And now you can see this is the back piece of the coat. It is that easy, guys. It's really simple and it's really not that difficult at all. So just go ahead and cut the rest of the pattern pieces and then we're going to start on with the sewing. Guys, let's get started with sewing. The first piece you need is the number two, which is the front piece. So the two front piece and you want to take it like this and you're going to pin these two together right now we're actually creating the color of the coat and you just want to go ahead and sew it I'm going to go sew it and show you guys the next step so guys it should look like this after sewing. Make sure to give it a good ironing, which I'm gonna go do in a few. Iron it properly. And then what you want to do next is you wanna take the back piece of the, of the uh, coat, which right sides together. And this is the middle. Pin it together in the middle of the, the back panel. So you're going to pin it right there at the neck, just pin it there together and then 
you're just going to gradually pin the back panel together with the front panel it's really that easy like this the whole neckline and the shoulders should look like this like pinned together and now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and sew it all the way around like so I'm gonna go do that and come back to show you guys the next step lay the front and the back panel flat and this is where your markings are going to come in handy so I told you guys to transfer every mark from your pattern piece to your fabric and here we have a mark here and from this point is where you're going to pin your sleeve ah uh, sorry the pocket so you're going to pin right sides together first like this is what you have and then you're going to go ahead and sew it and after you sew it you're going to flip it inside like so and then you're going to top stitch it so it doesn't move and very and then it gives it a very nice professional finishing look so guys so the next step is i already went ahead and pinned the, the side the back and front panel together and pinning the the also the front and back of the pocket so you're just going to sew it from the sides like this all the way through and all the way down and yes I'm going to go do that step and then I'll come and show you guys actually the final step which should be adding attaching the sleeves and uh, hemming the coats and we should be done okay. guys the next step is you want to sew your sleeves at the side so we're gonna sew our sleeve right here the sleeve it's already sewn it's like this so now you want to attach it to the jacket so you're just going to put it through make sure this does the sleeve is turned to the right side and the jacket on the wrong side and you're just going to match the under stitch to the armpit stitch of the coat you take some few pins and pin it there and then you pin the upper part to the shoulder of the coat so like this just take a pin And pin it. I'm gonna pin one here at the sides. And you're gonna pin another one here at the side. So your sleeve should be like this. Now you just want to go around, go and sew it around, and then you just also want to do a road hem. For the whole coat and we are done i'm going to attach the sleeve and hem or do all the necessary hemmings and i'll show you guys the finish look